What would happen if you started consuming omega-3 fish oils for 30 days? That's a topic I want to educate people on because omega-3 fatty acids are essential. That means that our bodies can't make them, but we need them. And 70% of the entire population is deficient in omega-3. And I'm going to tell you why they are deficient. And I'm also going to tell you what would happen if you started putting these omega-3s back into the body. And you can do it through several ways. Uh, fish oils. Fish oil is one way. I prefer cod liver oil because it also has two additional things like vitamin D and vitamin A, both which are not in fish oils. You don't want to buy a fish oil based on cost because you're going to basically get rancid fish oils and they're going to cause more harm than good. And this is because fish oils are highly susceptible to being oxidized. But of course, the best thing to do is to consume actual fatty fish, sardines, grass-fed beef, organ meats, and even eggs. Now, I will mention about, you know, like walnuts, flaxseed, hemp, chia seed. Might say they have omega-3, but really they're precursors that turn into omega-3 fatty acids. They have something called ALA, and then that can convert into EPA and DHA. EPA primarily helps you reduce inflammation, okay? And a lot of people have inflammation, and you can have inflammation in the joints, so it helps with arthritis. You can have inflammation in the heart, so it can help with your heart. And then you have something called DHA, which is really good for your brain. In fact, your brain is made up of 20% DHA. And I'm talking about the gray matter, the cerebral cortex. This is why fish oils are really good for memory, cognitive function, attention, focus, learning. Really good for kids, yet many kids don't consume fish or fish oils. But there is a reason why your parents or your grandmother gave you cod liver oil, because that's more of a well-known remedy for so many things. That A lot of the Nordic uh, countries uh, used cod liver oil back in the day when they had long winters with very low vitamin D, because as we know, we don't get a lot of sun during the winter and a lot of people become depressed during the winter and they might have a worsening of their arthritis. So cod liver oil is an excellent source or just consume more fatty fish through the winters. Now, another interesting benefit with cod liver oil, especially for kids, if you can get them to consume it, is asthma and allergies. And it's a combination of just reducing inflammation in the lungs. I mean, what's an allergy? It's like you have a lot of inflammation. But also the vitamin D is one of the most potent anti-inflammatories. And vitamin D is one of the most important things in asthma. This is why if asthmatic kids get more sun, uh, their asthma goes in remission. So normally people take omega-3 fish oils for heart problems or brain issues. But they are good for other things too. So if you consume them on a regular basis, you may find one of the following symptoms disappear. Dry eyes. Now you can also help dry eyes with vitamin A, but also with omega-3. The next one is dermatitis, especially if your skin is scaly and dry. And so when you're deficient in omega-3, you can develop what's called age-related macular degeneration affecting your sight. I already mentioned all the arthritis, both rheumatoid and osteo and arrhythmias and high blood pressure. Another really interesting benefit is improving a fatty liver. That's right. By taking a certain fat, you can get rid of fat in your liver. Another great benefit for omega-3 is increased calcium absorption. Now, of course, if you take the cod liver oil, you're going to get more calcium absorption because of the vitamin D. Vitamin D helps you absorb calcium by a factor of 20 times. I notice when people are deficient in calcium, they can have leg cramps, but they also have a hard time going to sleep easily. They might be tired, but their head can't relax or go to sleep. And menstrual cramps, probably a combination because of the anti-inflammatory effect, but also the vitamin D, okay, can help you absorb calcium and actually reduce cramping. Omega-3 fatty acids can also help you with insomnia and even decrease the risk of certain types of cancer. Now, one little problem that people have with fish oils is the burping, but they do have them in capsules without the actual oil. Okay, so you can get them in capsules. You won't burp with those. 
Uh, sometimes people are allergic to fish oils or fish, or they might be vegan and don't want to consume the fish. Well, you can get uh, supplements that come from algae, so that's another source. Because the way fish actually get their omega-3 is through consuming phytoplankton. And also, there's a simple, simple test that you can do, okay, just with one little blood spot, okay, just take a little drop of blood, and you put it on this piece of paper, you send it in, and they can evaluate how much omega-3 is in your blood and give you the ratios of something else, which I want to touch on next, like omega-6 fatty acids. And I will put a link down below of a, a company that will do your test, and I have no kickbacks or affiliations with this company. Now, this next thing is very, very, very important. Take a look at this graph. We're looking at soy oil, okay? We're looking at an omega-6 fatty acid. What you need to know is the omega-6 fatty acids compete for the omega-3 fatty acids. And I think one of the big reasons why people are deficient in omega-3 is not only because they don't consume enough omega-3, like fish oils or cod liver oil, but because they consume too much of the competitor, the omega-6, which are, is very, very inflammatory. So that would be the soy oil, the corn oil, the canola oil, the cottonseed oil. The ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids really should be like one to one. Most people are like 30 to one, very heavy on the omega-6 fatty acids. But that test that I mentioned will pick this up and tell you what your ratios are. One last point about these um, omega-3 oils, okay? Um, if you don't have a gallbladder or you are deficient in bile and you can't absorb these fats very easily, or maybe you have some type of inflammatory condition in your gut, you may want to add uh, some type of uh, purified bile salt as a supplement to start not only getting more absorption of these omega-3 fatty acids, but also getting absorption of the other fat soluble vitamins that you need. But I think we really got ourselves in the situation when we started to feed our animals way more grains and getting them away from the grass-fed food because animals that are fed grains are, have significantly reduced omega-3 fatty acids than the grass-fed. And because we're on the topic of nutrition and we're talking about healthy foods, there's a fascinating study I was involved in, some of the beef that I raised on my farm to a lab, and I want to show you the results. Check this video out right here.